Good morning, Willow. Do you want to come out or are you still sleeping in there? Is Ebby cuddling you? Come here, you ready to come out? Good morning. Willow, are you ready to come out? So we have water set out for them, some oats that they can easily eat with one hand, some food, and as you can see, Willow wants out, so I have to put this down to let her out. Um, she does not have use of her back legs. So I let her out, Abby goes out on her own, get some fresh water, fresh food. Willow really likes the oats because she's able to just hold it and eat it okay. She is still able to eat adult food, but her care is definitely a little bit different. She moves around pretty well on her front legs only. One of the legs stopped working because she had a mammary tumor that pushed it so far out and she has just grown accustomed to using her front legs only. So this has certainly been an adaptation for her. And the blanket comes out because she likes to snuggle there. Abby has her own nest that you'll see later. Hi, baby girl. Hi. Hey, Abby. Willow's not big on touch, or at least she never was big on touch. Um, she likes to kind of stand on you, sit on you, and as she's gotten older, she she still likes attention, but she she just likes to show it in her own way. Being near us, especially being near my husband, she really likes and has commandeered uh, my husband's pants and chewed holes in it, so we let her have those because when you're three. You get to do kind of whatever you want, huh? Three is very old. Mm, headbutting. Joining me. <laughs> we are now in the sweatshirt. I might be here a while. While I am down here, let's talk about cages. So you might ask why they are in the Rat Manor cage. They were in a single critter nation with their sister Macy because both Willow and Macy had very limited mobility. And Abby's showing slightly limited mobility in some ways. She can still climb, but she definitely needs assistance, plenty of lava ledges to do that. We do not have ramps in any of the cages because with Willow's toes, they can get caught and rats with toe bleeding can just be very, um, not necessarily traumatic, but it can be very frightening because their toes bleed a lot. So we don't want that to happen. The Rat Manor has a smaller base, but they chose the Rat Manor to go into. And because they are on the same level as the floor, we can open up the cage and let them free range in their very um, single level floor way and watch them and they can be out in the open for several hours of the day. So they actually get more exercise this way and they're able to free roam a little bit more, which is fantastic for them. Let's talk what I feed the girls that are older. They still have their food so long as they can eat it and that's their main source. They have oats, which um, is something that they can easily eat. And I try not to give them too much, but give them some. They have some easy to eat fresh fruits like bananas and sometimes like cooked carrots, um, corn if they are able to take that little shell exterior off. But when they are unable to eat hard foods, we switch to baby food. And that can be tricky because there's not a lot of calories in baby food, 
We are trying right now these turkey rice mixtures um, and other foods that come in these little containers because they just don't eat as much. We also like to get the squeezy pack sauces and make sure they're things that they can have. We will also give them just plain meat baby food. Again, high protein, so I try to be careful with that. And then the last thing I give them is Pediasure Growing Gain as some extra calories and some liquid as well. I am not a pro at geriatric care for rats. It's something that I take case by case. And while health is important for them, like a healthy diet, when they get older or they're unable to eat certain foods, calories is really important for them, making sure they're getting calories. So I kind of learn as I go and it can be very tricky. It might not be perfect, but it is certainly something I try to work on. So while Willow prefers the blanket, Abby has made a nest over here through nesting materials we have given her um, and Gerber cookies that she doesn't even open. She just uses as a nesting material. And this is where she hangs out for a lot of the day. So I went upstairs to do a couple of videos, uh, finish some things. I was in the middle of filming and I come down to this. So Ebby has decided to create a third nest in the box in the cage. Hi Willow, would you like some food? I see you're at the oats again. Cute rat. What do we want? Let's see. If you didn't like the chicken, do you think you'll like turkey? <laughs> Want to try this? Yum, yum, yum. Mmm. We like turkey. Smells really good. Are we eating off the plate now? Okay. Sounds good to me. Those are not get out of my way. Night, kiddos. Good night, girlies. <laughs>